from Santa Clara, California, it's theCUBE, covering Technovation World Pitch Summit 2019. Brought to you by SiliconANGLE Media. Now, here's Sonia Tagari. Hi, and welcome to theCUBE. I'm your host, Sonia Tagari, and we're here at Oracle's Agnews Campus in Santa Clara, California, covering Technovation's World Pitch Summit 2019, a pitch competition in which girls from around the world create mobile apps in order to create positive change in the world. With us today, we have team decoders from Albania. Welcome. Thank you. Uh, the members are uh, Dea Rojani, um, Arla Hoha, and Yonanda Shukarasi. Welcome and congratulations on being finalists. Thank you. So your app is called Jayza. Tell me more about that. Okay, so this name is in Albanian and it actually means find your voice, which is also our motto. Uh, Jayza is focused on helping women who suffer from domestic and gender-based violence. So it has all these features that are based on our three main pillars. Helping the user identify the problem, empowering them, and then enabling them to take action. That's amazing. And I know sometimes in domestic abuse cases, sometimes just identifying the problem is, yes. is the hardest part. So that's awesome. That's the first part uh, in your app. Um, so can you tell us more about how someone would use the app? Yeah, so on the first run, after installation, they would face this entrance quiz. Um, it, at the end, it gives you an, an evaluation about these five questions about gender-based violence, but it's more about self-reflection and serving as an early warning mechanism for people and questioning their whole, um, their whole perception on gender-based violence. After that, uh, they come to the main menu, which is the 30-day program, which has myths about uh, violence, that you can um, give the answer if it's a true or false, it will give you the anti-myth, mindfulness exercises, and success stories of other women in similar situations. Besides from the program, we have an information menu that has um, contacts to coordinator, uh, to municipality coordinators, to nonprofit organizations. It has some basic information about gender-based violence and, the, and its signs. Legislation updates on um, laws that women can benefit from and some other additional information. But also one of the main points of our app is connecting scattered resources in our country. So we have all these NGOs and all these uh, institutions that are designed to help women. Women, but most of them do not know that they exist. So when they want to separate from an abusive husband and want to report violence, they don't know where to head. So serving that, we have the SOS menu, which has the emergency hotlines. Because in Albania, we have separate hotlines for different situations, not like here in America, 911. We have different numbers, they change them from time to time, and it's really important to have them all in one place when you need them most. We also have, um, you can also connect directly to psychologists, lawyers, doctors, and shelters that help women who suffer from domestic violence. That's amazing, it just sounds like such a great app. Uh, yeah. And one more thing, which is really important because this feature that I'm about to mention uh, is uh, about all women. It's the opportunities menu. So we have collaborated with local businesses and they have agreed to furnish the app with job notices, uh, workshop uh, notices and coupons that uh, all the, only the users of our app can respond to so they can benefit from that. But the thing is when a user, even though they, didn't, they do not suffer from domestic violence, if they enter the app for the opportunity opportunities menu, they also go through the entrance questionnaire. So th that's when all the questioning for violence starts. And um, do you find that this uh, domestic violence is a huge problem in your community or how did you come up with this idea? Yes, it's actually a really huge problem in Albania. We have grown up seeing all these headlines as, as the moment we opened the TV, there would be a, a headline that would say husband killed wife. And it would be for the most absurd reasons. And we have, it has all these deep cultural roots and it's, it's, it's really horrible. We would see it among our peers, um, the early signs of it, of course, and we would see how that would soon develop to what we, what we see today in the news. And we see it's not getting any better, so we decided we wanted to do something about it. That's amazing, and I hope you uh, you take this app worldwide and globally because I'm sure it'll help a bunch of other people in the world as well. Well, thank you so much. This is all the time we have for today. Thank you for being on the Cube, and good luck for tonight. Thank you. Uh,
I'm your host, Sonia Tagari. Thank you for watching theCUBE's coverage of Technovation World Pitch 2019. Till next time. Oh.